please. <laughs> Our guests are short to arrive. I need you to go and ready the arena. And what are... Fighters are demolishing themselves. I need you to take care of the documentation devices. Do you understand? <laughs> Go get ready. <laughs> soon, soon I'll be here. <laughs> Where's everybody? Are you kidding me? I'm here at Patrick Holloway's house in his backyard where the ring is set up and I look around and I see no Wrestle Club superstars. I see no Patrick Holloway. I'm gone for three months. Three months! And we don't train anymore? Now I see Wrestle Club needs its leader back. The man who leads by example. But come on, we're this lazy? America. America. So typical of you in a time of crisis to go crawl back into your holes and be lazy fat slobs. You see, Slim Abbas was at home. He was sitting at home enjoying the Iraqi's son, drinking his tea. And he gets a call from Wrestle Club? Wrestle Club. But you see, it wasn't Patrick Holloway. It was the other owner. The other owner calls Salim Abbas and says, Salim, please come back to America. Come back to the main event. I need my ratings to spike. And you're the only man who can do it. So Salim Abbas thought to himself, yeah, I can make a trip back to America. I can do that. I can get back into the main event where Salim Abbas has always been. So I come back and I see nobody here. No training, no wrestling, nothing because of a virus. A virus is going to keep you locked down, not Salim Abbas. Nobody locks Salim Abbas down. Him and his ironclad contract is here to fight. See, there's been some changes here. I don't look around and see any tag team champions. Hickman's gone. Where's Hickman? Where's Hollywood? Nothing but silence. But there's one thing, one thing that hasn't changed. And that's that Wrestle Club Heavyweight Championship around your waist, Garibay. You know why that hasn't changed? It's because you've been ducking and you've been dodging me for two years. And when I look into your eyes, I don't see the dominant serpent that we used to see. When I look into your eyes, I see fear. Fear of one day reliving that Arabic nightmare that stole that championship from your waist, and I'm the only man who's ever done it. So you keep ducking and you keep dodging me, Garibay, because you know I'm the only one capable of taking that title from you. Well, I say no more, no more. If you want to be that dominant champion again, you will face me one-on-one -on -one again. It's 2020, Garibay. Are you going to let circumstances stand in the way of what you love? I await to hear your response, even though I don't expect much. I'll be here to get her by. I'll be training, apparently by myself. Salim Abbas, I saw your video. And I gotta say, welcome back. But you came back under the hardest circumstances that United States is currently facing. And you talk about you being solo, you being alone inside this ring. But if you can see, obviously, you are not alone. You talk about the serpent not having the dominance that he used to have. And maybe I have let my guard down. Maybe the serpent has rattled his tail just a little too much. But that is all gonna stop here in the year 2020. You see, I had had and I made a dedication. I made a promise to myself that 2020 was gonna be a vision. 2020 clear as a glass. And right now, the only thing that's probably gonna shatter is gonna be you. You wanna challenge me right in back of Patrick Holloway's backyard. He can, we can even go to a secure location. It doesn't really matter to me. So to answer your question, to answer your challenge, 
I'm making a challenge to somebody else besides you. I accept your challenge, Salima boss. But now I challenge a referee to actually come out here and officiate this match. So if you're on the roster, then this is a challenge from the heavyweight champion. Bring the cameras, bring the crew, bring what you need to bring to make this happen, whether it's Patrick Holloway or the other owner, it really doesn't matter to me. Because my job in this business is to defend my heavyweight championship. And I understand there's a virus going around, but you know what, I feel absolutely fine. 100% I've been training day in and day out the way that I have been for the past plus 10 years So Salima boss Welcome back And you're gonna have yourself a heavyweight championship match And you're going up against Not Garibay But you're going up against the lost soul And one way or another that bell is going to ring for both of us. Whether an official steps up, or the ownership steps up, this is a match that is not going to get canceled. The only thing that's going to stop or get canceled or get delayed, Salima Boss, is your path to the heavyweight championship. And I will see you soon. I don't know the date. I don't know when. I don't know the location. But I guarantee it's gonna be a match. It's gonna be history in the making. Oh. All right. Hello. Hey, Mr. Holloway, how you doing? Yeah? Yeah, I saw that there was gonna be an event. I tried getting a hold of Sign Guy and Matt Man and uh you know, since they're out of state, they got stopped. They didn't have the proper paperwork or whatever, and uh, they got turned around. I don't know. Well, yeah, I've got experience with ring announcing, and I've done the wrestling, and I even helped out with uh, Hickman and Garibay when they were having their trouble. Uh-huh. I haven't refed. I would give it a shot. If you want me to ref, I'm interested. Okay, hold on. Let me get a pen. You want me to call sign guy, get a hold of him on Skype? Okay, I can do that. Um, when When is the event going to be? When's the match? You don't know yet. Well, where, uh, okay, I can just be available all day, but where are we going to meet up at? You don't know yet. Oh, you're still trying to get it all figured out. Well, when you do get it all figured out, get all your rats in a row, you let me know. I'm in. I'll be your ref, I'll give it a shot, I'll get a hold of the sign guy, I'll learn everything I need to know. Um, but we just need to know where and when. Let me know. All right. All right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks, Patrick. Bye. All right, well, that's that.
<laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's you! <laughs> Are you lost? <laughs> I believe I'm exactly where I need to be. What exactly are you? I wasn't referring to your physical appearance. Where is your soul? <laughs> I see you have some humor. <laughs> well, clearly your third eye is working well. But you're just the man I've been waiting for. For the one trophy I need to add to my case. You need to leave the trinket with me if you plan on What playing. do you mean leave? I'm the heavyweight champion. This company is out of business. Those logos are obsolete. And if you want to play, I'm sure you know you have to pay. <laughs> so I've I'll been be taking, paying all my life. I'll be I've taking been paying dues. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure you have. Blood dues. That's all we talk about here, isn't it? That's why you won't let go of your gold. Yes, so materialistic you are. But that's not the only trinket that I require. I don't have much. Uh, these are what I need. Because here we do not use pads. There is no protection. If you get hurt, if you bleed, if you scrape your elbow, we're not stopping. <laughs> I will let you keep those. You can use the bare minerals here. <laughs> now through the doorway, head down the hall into the arena. Away. Who are you? Uh, don't ask who I am. I'm the bookkeeper. Uh, I get more than that. I what is that? You, you, you don't look too well. <laughs> I come back to America, I find this. I can see my reflection. I think I look just fine. Why don't you give me those glasses, young man? Nobody touched Lima Boss's glasses. Well then, Lima Boss does not gain entrance into the yard. <laughs> You're not as foolish as you look. <laughs> so disrespectful. I expect nothing else. Let me see the apple. Give me the apple too. <laughs> I like Salima Bath. One last thing. I require the gloves if you require entrance. <laughs> These gloves protect my opponent. No, well, there's no protection in here. There's no pads. There's no. There's no protection. Yes, fine by you. Well, it's gonna be. There's no way that you will play. I can see it in your eyes. You feel like you travel the long ways. Yes. But I'm the journey you're about to take is the longest one you have yet. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I'm jet lag. I don't need this. Through the doorway, down the hall. <laughs> Everybody and welcome to the very first episode of the company known as Biohazard. I am G and I'm going to be commentating this event here today. And I just want to let everybody know that this is actually pre-taped my very first time. Not calling it live, not calling it down the line. And right now we have Dr. Steve Superbisto making his way out here. And as we saw earlier, the bookkeeper 
throwing him that referee t-shirt and there it is there's the referee t-shirt looking like caution in the wind so dr steve super b i have not seen him in a very long time but i am glad that he is back inside the ring the last time i saw him he was trying to figure things out with the lost men and I just want to let everybody know that I cannot say certain things on this program um, mostly concerning another company in Idaho that is currently out of business so right now I don't have any type of clue where the location is it seems like a forest a remote location and as far as I know the man that's calling the shot making these matches is the bookkeeper which seems to me he looks like he's 150 years old creepy for sure and I mean even the ring is completely different and making his way out here is Salim Abbas the Arab nightmare and as you know there is no announcer here so I'm gonna try to announce the best that I can I believe he's around 210 pounds, the Arab Nightmare. If you're not spiritually connected and making his way earth, out, his opponent is the lost soul, Garibay. 200 pounds, he finds himself here at Biohazard. Very short here. And looks like he is just ready to go. He looks like he is in survivor mode here. And of course, look around this ring. There is zero fans here. I would say this is an empty arena, but there's no arena. He just said fight and there's one stop by Sima Boss. He misses. Misses the second time. Third time is the charm there. Stomping on the serpent there. Throwing him over the top rope. And as we heard, referee is Super B trying to explain the rules here. And right now we have the lost soul who trying to go for that skin the cat. There's a double leg takedown. And now there's a skin the cat. Maybe skin the serpent there. He has a lock here. Throws him over. Looks like he's going for a modified surfboard stretch here. And the rules here again, only pinfall and submissions. Uh, it seems like it is very much survival of the fittest here. Slim and Boss still in that surfboard stretch, reverses it, has that foot in the back for leverage, stretching the snake out here. And there's a push off. Slim and Boss with a roll up. And that's only for the count of one, and we have a reset here. I mean, just very bizarre and biohazard. And the B I O actually stands for by invitation only. And of course, we have the hazard, the biohazard. And right now, the serpent has a top wrist lock here. Keep going. Telling if he's going to submit or not. Simon Boss rolling through has a hammerlock here, and the serpent is digging against that leg pick. Looks like he might be going for the figure four. Or, and there's a counter two. There was a counter by Salima Boss, and Salima Boss has been out of wrestling for about three months and making his comeback here in a completely new company known as biohazard and i mean most i mean all these three wrestlers they had nowhere to go as we heard that that other company in idaho is out of business and slim and boss with that gut check up by a suplex there and looks like the boss was trying to roll through but the serpent rolls over for the pin only for the count of two there and Lost Soul is in control here. There's a kick to the midsection. Now he has, he has a, a 
submission hold here. Again, infall and submission only. And there is a sunset flip with a count of two only there. And right now the serpent ears got rung. So Lima Boss taking control here. Right hand. Left and right here. Here comes Lima Boss whipping the lost soul. Oh, he gets that foot up. Counters back elbow. And the serpent off that mid spinning back elbow. And what does the serpent have in store for Salima Boss looking up to the skies and nope, nobody home. That wasn't the landing that he wanted. Elevated missed elbow drop there. And that's going to give Salima Boss an opening. As we saw earlier too, the loss had to give up that heavyweight championship. So it seems to me there is no titles here. Uh, right now, Sima Boss in complete control, coming off that rope and just a knuckle to the face there. And has that cover, good leg hook, but only for the count of two. Salima Boss is just looking like he hasn't missed a beat. Right now, Salima Boss is in control of the Arab Nightmare. Looks like he has a sleeper hole. Now he's uh, choking the lost soul on that man And if you had a uh, super beat, Dr. Super Beat, say, like, I can't count. So, I mean, there's, there's no way to count. And here we go, Salima Boss. Caught with the clothesline there by the Serpent. The serpent measuring up here. And there's a knee to the gut coming off that rope. Jumping European uppercut. Only for the count of two there. And the serpent is in that corner, sizing up. Salima Boss coming off. Nobody home there for him. Salima Boss pulling that hair all the way down to the canvas. You notice too the canvas and this ring is just completely different. Just black and we have looks like a light blue canvas. Something that we just never seen here in Idaho. And Salima Boss with that headlock slam there. Telling the referee to count it, Dr. Steve says two count there. Almost a three, there you see the aggression from the serpent. And I gotta say, the serpent has uh, kind of changed his beat here for Biohazard. We're so used to another company, another image, but that's not the case here. And right now, it looks like he's going for that camel clutch. The serpent counters there. Arm drag take over judo. And here comes the serpent. Nobody home there. Salima so Boss tripping the lost soul. And Salima Boss still has that leg hook and just drilled it straight to the canvas there. And notice, those hits have to hurt even more because there's no knee pads here. There's no knee pads, no elbow pads. And you see uh, Salima Boss doesn't have his gloves. I mean, this is like just bare knuckles here. So, I mean, everything's going to hurt times two, especially with that kneecap getting drilled to the canvas. And right now, you see the serpent just fighting back here. Kind of a new aggression. And here we go, Sima Boss has him up. Textbook body slam. Followed up by a leg drop there. One, Dr. Two. Soupy says uh, for the count of two only. Two count. Two. And there you see uh, Serpent trying to recover here. And Sima Boss just wailing on him here. Another right hand, right hand from the Serpent. There, Nightmare with the gut hit. And this guy's just slugging it out here in the middle of the forest. A European uppercut, and here comes the serpent with that whip. One for that clothesline. Nobody home. Looking back, looking the other way, and caught a knee to the back there. That's going to send him to the outside. There is no count. And Salima Boss with that counter. And if you heard uh, Dr. Referee Super B saying there's there's no count. So, I mean, there's, there's no count outs whatsoever. One out, him out. There is no count. And what? No count out. Doctor Super B is explaining to Salima Boss like there's there's no count out like the referees have to the wrestlers have to adjust to these new rules. I mean this is not the other company whatsoever. And they see a big shot by the Lost Soul. And here we go. He jumps inside the ring 
And it looks like he's gonna be jumping out oh. here. Nope, Salima Boss caught him. Right hand, straight to the kisser. And here comes Salima Boss. Knee straight to the temple, off that apron, and that can be a knockout. Is it over? I think he's finished. He is hey, finished. He says he's going. And then you see Super B um, checking on the serpent, saying, "Hey, is it over? Are you are you done?" So I mean, there's again just pinfall and submissions. If you can't go. You're gonna go home. And it's to my understanding that it's invite only, and that doesn't mean it's for next week. And Salima Boss saying that it's over might be going for that double fist combo. So he used to hit one. Oh, he misses that second one as the serpent counter there. The loss so on the opposite end. And here we go. There's a double springboard slam there. And that body splash only got for the count of two. Salima Boss making a wise move, grabbing that bottom black rope there. And right now we have the serpent. He might be calling for that serpent splash there. He's so used to doing, putting so many men out, but nope, right now he's out. As Salima Boss counting it, using that top rope and then just slugging the forehead of the lost soul. And Salima Boss has him here running. Ooh, knees to the jaw. Now he has a lost soul. Center in the ring here says he's gonna cut the neck of the serpent, has him up. Ooh, but he just slammed there. And that could be it. Has that leg one, hook. One, two, three. three. Uh, that's it. And your that's winner it. here is Salima Boss, victorious in the very first matchup of Biohazard. And the new that's a club heavyweight champion. And Salima Boss! Salima no, Boss no, there is no champion. Belt. What? There's no belt. The title was on the line. This is that's wrestling club. This is not wrestling club. There's no belt. There's no title. This is Super B explaining that. There's, no, there's no titles here. There's no titles. The boss. I beat him. Everything we got is absolute. Oh, then we see the serpent oh with a flat line there. He just struck. But again, Slimy Boss is victorious here. And the serpent striking with no warning. Again, I mean, if we saw earlier, the Lasso had to give up his heavyweight championship. And as far as I'm concerned, there is no titles here. This is this is a this is a different company. This is not the other company. The other company is out of business. And as you heard, Doctor Super B is saying like, "Hey, I, I hope you get the invitation back." What do I do? And. Right now, Salima Boss is seeing the stars or seeing the forest from down below. And your first matchup for Biohazard, we see victorious is Salim Abbas. The return of Salima Boss and Dr. Super B here for Biohazard. You must leave your pittance to continue forward. I see you brought a bag. Why don't you put it up on the pedestal? <laughs> Go ahead and open the zippers for me, would you please? I see you're part of Project Mayhem. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Ooh. I needed a new pair of shoes. The heels are a little lower than I like, but I'll keep them anyways. <laughs> you won't need this protection where you're going. <laughs> and maybe, for the sake of the other competitors, because you're not alone, I hear you like to hurt people, so I'll take the kick pads too. <laughs> you may continue forward through the doorway. Down well, the hallway back to the forest. <laughs> you're late! You're not the first to arrive, but I hope that you're not the last. Why don't you take your bag of effects and put it up on the pedestal? All right. You need to follow the rules, or you don't get to play. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't bag. touch my bag, you piece mm. of trash. I've had these hands in several bags. <laughs> and yours isn't the last. <laughs> mm, well, this is the same thing as everybody else. But my I have my eyes on something else. You need to pay the price. I like your shawl and your crown. Remove them for me and I will grant you entrance you kidding into me right the now? arena. I am not kidding. Do I look like I'm joking to you? <laughs> Do you want this? Do you want this? There. I swear. And the crown. And the crown. If there's anything wrong with these items afterwards, I'm kicking your teeth down your throat. Down you got my it? Throat? I have a feeling there's something wrong with it before you even gave it to me, so I'm not the one you need to be worried about. <laughs> now get your bag off of my pedestal and go through the doorway. Down the hallway and into the forest. <laughs> And there you see the clear shot of Hawthorne. I believe she is the one that handles the camera. And here it comes out. Looks like we have another referee here. And I believe that referee's name is Peyton. And he's going to be the ref for this upcoming matchup here at Biohazard. Second match. Again, we are in the middle of nowhere this is pre-taped this is not live um very first that well, at least a first for me and making his way out here is the voodoo priest damian black and it's from my understanding that he has also been stripped i mean there is a price to play here at biohazard notice no kick pads no knee pads no elbow pads, just pretty much bareless here. Um, and making his way out here is Marcus Anderson. What is I would call him a king, but as we saw earlier, he is stripped of that. Uh, no knee pads. He doesn't have his his cape. He doesn't have his crown. So I'm gonna be calling him Marcus Anderson um, because he got stripped from the doorman, the gatekeeper, the bookkeeper. And here we go again. No bell, no announcer, just straight up fight. And Damian Black taking on Marcus Anderson. Marcus Anderson going for a right hand. And as as a commentator, this is my first time ever seeing these guys in a single matchup. I mean, the bookkeeper is he's the one that's doing all these matches. He's he goes out there and says, "Hey, you fight him, you fight him," and. Go ahead and go out there and fight. And that's what these guys are going to be doing here. And King Marcus Anderson showing Damian Black the power there. And it's also to my understanding that Damian Black, his voodoo powers, seems to be not as effective here at Biohazard. I mean, it's just, I think it's just the aspect of all the creepiness here. I mean, did you guys see that bookkeeper? Did you see his face? I mean, something, I don't know what's going on with him. He's just, he's a creeper. And right now, Damian Black has that knuckle that tie up got, there. Black. That's what you got, boy! And Marcus Anderson with that gut kick. Just a knuckle. And then he was going for the eyes there. And referee Peyton, is he, he's kind of explaining to Marcus Anderson, hey, man, there's, there's no DQs, like... And this, like again, this is very new for these wrestlers here. They, they're used to the traditional count and the uh, count out, but that's that does not apply here whatsoever. This is, at least here at Biohazard, you see uh, Marcus King Anderson uh, pushing the ref there, and there's a clothesline that would have been a DQ, followed up by a back elbow there, and there's a big boot by Marcus Anderson. Again, a very first. These guys in singles competition here, so automatically we're just getting fresh stuff, something that's brand new. Uh, King Marcus Anderson sends him in that corner there. And Marcus Anderson talking some trash to referee Peyton there, and there you see referee is really getting in there. Completely different style ah, here. And here we go. We're at Wild Hazard here. Referee pulling that leg there. Here we go.
go. Uh, Damian Black with all up. Almost had, almost had a three count there. Catching Marcus Anderson off guard and then catching him with a knee to the jaw there. And the voodoo priest, Damian Black, with that right hand there. He sees a trash talk there. Kicking him in the inner thigh there. Here comes Damian Black. Marcus Anderson had him scouted. There's a snap there. Tackle. And there's an elbow targeting the upper shoulders of Damian Black. And again, I mean, just look, no crowd here. I would say at the arena, but this is not an arena. And Marcus Anderson blocked that back elbow, going for the cover. Sloppy pin there. Gotta hook the leg. Marcus Anderson with the club to the back. And again, but I mean, both of these men, they probably have not wrestled in maybe over a month. So probably they're getting used to this, but Damian Black is probably never going to get used to getting slammed like that. And right now, Marcus Anderson with the Zawa stretch here. And again, only pinfall and submissions that they have to occur inside the ring. I mean, that's... That's the guidelines that I'm getting, so I'm I'm learning along with you. There is uh, no rope breaks and there's no countouts. Here we go. Uh, Marcus Anderson still has that bizarre stretch, asking Black he wants to give up, and Black is on his feet here. And double underhook by by Marcus Anderson. He has that a double up, underhook no. there. And referee asking him if he wants to give up. Oof. Oh, you see Damian Black with a punch there to the kneecap. And Damian Black following up with the kick there. Spinning back kick by Damian Black. Here we go. Ooh, a splash. And there's a counter by Marcus Anderson. Oh my gosh. I see that. There's a delayed German suplex there. And this one could be over here. Again, sloppy pin by Marcus Anderson. You gotta hook the leg. You can't just lay down there. You gotta put all your body weight, especially if you're a heavyweight. Very sloppy cover there by Marcus Anderson. There's a knee there. And Damian Black just ate that turnbuckle. And as you see, Damian Black, his appearance seems kind of different here at Biohazard 2. He's, he usually has his face completely covered. But this is a whole new ball game here. And Marcus Anderson following up with another top rope using it. Oh, hit him in the head there. And Damian Black with a pair of elbows. To no effect there. You see Marcus Anderson is in that corner there. And Damian Black is trying to recover here. Big right hand there. And there's some gut shots there. And here comes Damian Black. There's a springboard. Ooh, there's a back kick. And normally that puts people down. I mean, Marcus Anderson, finally he gets down there. There you see Damian Black. And a referee pushing out Damian Black. I mean, there's... You don't have the count of five here. You can't be really getting in the face of the officials like that. And Marcus Anderson with that black hole slam there. And it seems to me that the referees here have just the complete authority there. Another two count there. Again, sloppy cover by Marcus Anderson. Where's the count on that joke? No counts no more. Not separating. And there you heard it from the referee, like, hey, there's there's no counts no more. So, I mean, the, the wrestlers have to adjust to the rules here. This is a different ball game. This is not their pass. This is biohazard. And there you see the referee pushing in Damian Black. I mean, there's there's no count outs. The referee has the complete authority here. And here we go. Nice delayed suplex there. And that's only for the count of two. And Marcus Anderson taking his time in that pay there. That was almost a three count. 
Damian Black just catching him off guard there. I mean, that's what happens. You take your eyes off the prize. That's all it takes for him to lose. And Marcus Anderson might be knocked out here. That could be it. One, two. Oof, I was surprised he kicked out of that one. I think that if that was any other man, he would have been gone. He would have been sending his way back. And also, it appears to me that you're, it's, it's invite only, so this, it doesn't really guarantee that you're going to be here next week. I'm not sure how the bookkeeper measures that, but again, it's by invitation. So, I mean, what you see this week, you may not even see these wrestlers next week. So, I mean, just, again, fairly new to me. And Damian Black with that Rings of Saturn, but Marcus Anderson, there you see the power, the heavyweight of Marcus Anderson, but no, there we go. Ooh, almost had him in that cradle pin there. And both men here, back and forth, they have been taking a beating, trying to readjust to the new rules here at Biohazard. And Damian Black, ooh, now he's using the head of Marcus Anderson, that top turnbuckle there. And here comes Damian Black, going for that win. Uh, Marcus Anderson's just the bigger man. And Damian Black is in that corner there. And Marcus Anderson has him up here in the corner, going for a snap there. And there's a keeper. Reverse chin lock there. And he has him here. Reverse chin lock. Trying to put the eyes out of Marcus Anderson. And Damian Black is in the face of the referee. And that's something that's something you don't want to do. You see the referee push Damian Black. Ooh, that's a future shot, DDT. And the future of Damian Black is down here. And there's the count of three. Get your hands off me! And victorious here is Marcus Anderson. I swear, here at Biohazard. And that gatekeeper's... Well, you better watch his words because he might not be invited back. I mean, this is a completely different company, completely different in all forms and all shapes. And that's the matchup for Biohazard. And hopefully, we'll see you guys again.